Many students found this A-level physics question difficult. We have a car which is being accelerated by this compressed spring that performs simple harmonic motion. The acceleration is given by the following expression. What we need to do is find the time t that it takes for the spring to return to its original position. As the spring is performing simple harmonic motion, we can equate this with the simple harmonic equation a is equal to minus omega squared x and we can see that omega squared will be given by k over m so omega is just 2 pi over t and this is squared and this is equal to k over m meaning that our time period squared will be equal to m over k multiplied by 4 pi squared. The time period is given by the square root of this expression. We've got values for the mass and the spring constant given in the question. We can magically plug those in. And if we do so, we're going to get 0.229 seconds. Remember though, what this question is actually asking us is the time that it takes for the spring to return to its original length, i.e. to have a displacement of zero. If we represent the displacement of the spring with a cosine curve, the time that it takes for the spring to go from its first peak to its first displacement of zero is equal to a quarter of the cycle. So what we need to do is divide this number by four, giving us a final answer of 0.057 seconds. One of the best ways to revise physics is by looking at common mistakes, and you absolutely need to have a look at this video right over here.